Hey guys, welcome back. This is Stephanie Oki here. How are you guys doing? I've missed you guys so much. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so today I am making a yogurt and honey soap. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it. I used the milk and oil method. Obviously, yogurt is like milk in this recipe. So yeah, I used the milk and honey, milk and oil method uh, because it kind of feels weird freezing yogurt and I just felt it wasn't going to work well with yogurt so I did the yogurt in honey aka milk and yogurt in oil aka milk and oil method <laughs> guys let's just get right into it <laughs> so as usual I start off by measuring out my hard oils and here we're measuring out some cocoa butter then I'm going to measure out some shea butter and then I'm going to measure out some lard and then I am going to melt that melt that down there's something going on with the way i'm talking today anyways i'm going to melt everything down my hard oils and then i will add the coconut oil later because coconut oil melts relatively easier than the other oil so it's kind of best to kind of melt those down i use the microwave to melt them down i'm really not that fussy about how it melts things down because it's going to turn to soap anyway we don't really you know need the oil to be <laughs> super preserved so um yeah anyway so i am now just measuring this while i'm measuring this let's have a chat how are you guys doing how's everything been going are you guys ready for christmas as i told you guys in my last video i was going to decorate for christmas and i did yes sir if you follow me on instagram you probably saw my christmas tree because i put it up there um i didn't put it up here because i just felt you know <sighs> nah but yeah, so I already decorated it. Very, it feels very Christmassy where I'm at and I'm really enjoying it. Oh my gosh, I haven't... Okay, so now I am melting my citric acid <laughs> in some distilled water. Oh, I talk too much and then sometimes I just forget what I'm doing. So the oils went off. Anyway, so now I'm adding some honey. Yeah, I'm adding some honey. And then I'm dissolving that in the citric acid because I just find that it kind of helps when the honey you know dissolves in some water some type of water it kind of makes everything blend more easily so now these are my hard oils and like i promised yeah i wasn't lying when i told you guys that i was gonna melt my coconut oil in the hard oils it's not a big deal i'm just being dramatic right now so right now yeah i'm just melting that down well i'm just measuring out the coconut oil and then i am melting that down so i'm just gonna stir it and stir it until it melts down and then I'll put that aside and we will move on to the next phase. So guys, at this point, let me just remind you to hit that subscribe button because I've checked my analytics and I realized that quite a number of people watch my videos and are not subscribed. And please, it really does help if you do. So please just click the sub subscribe button for me. Trust me, I shake my butt when you do. I always do. Anyway, so here's my distilled water, frozen distilled water, and I'm measuring in my lie. Do not do this. Do not do what I'm doing. Measure your lie out separately. Do not be like me. Trust me, I say to all my videos, I am just my own type of person. <laughs> so anyway, I measured out my lie into my frozen distilled water, because I can, and then I'm stirring that in. And then, you know, this really helps. I love this method because... It brings the temperature down more quickly and it also has no fumes anyway so now i'm just staring and at some point and you would notice look see when you use ice you notice this kind of crystallization going on as you're melting do not panic do not panic because i know some people would panic when they see this don't panic it's still going to melt Sometimes you just have to set them aside or stir it properly and it will melt. You can see as I keep stirring, it gets less and less, so it's going to melt. It's just one of the weirdness of lye and cold water reaction or lye and frozen water reaction. So now I'm just, che I'm just checking my temperature and it's about 98 and that's perfect for me. And so I'm going to keep stirring because obviously it's cloudy and you know I'm not sure. I check the temperature again you know stairs 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 at this point i think it's dissolved so i'm just going to set it aside to you know continue to cool off before i move on now it's time to measure out the liquid oils my liquid oils are olive oil castor oil and avocado oil and yeah 
So it's virtually the same process. I try to use the same recipes. The only thing I do sometimes is I tweak my recipes sometimes just to kind of see how each recipe would work because I don't like my soaps too drying. So I try not to go too high on coconut oil, for example, or, cast uh, or castor oil. Sometimes I would just use for more bubbles. And so sometimes I do tweak my recipes and I think I did tweak this recipe. So it's not really the same as my usual recipe. In this recipe, I'm trying to get more, you know, here I'm just checking my temperatures. I'm going to add my honey and thingy, honey and uh, citric acid before I had, add the lye. Anyway, so yeah, I tweaked, I tweaked this recipe because I'm trying to get some more lather from this because I noticed that with milk soaps, with my milk soaps, they do not lather as much as the soaps that are made without milk. So something about the fatty acids. So here is my yogurt. I was trying to be specific with the measurements and I was using my measuring spoon to scoop the yogurt, but it was just being problematic. So I took the entire container and I just poured in <laughs> as much as I wanted. Anyway, something about the fat in some of these milk, like milk soaps and, um, you know, something like yogurt sometimes can suppress the bubbles. Don't know if it adds to super fat i don't know what it is but it does suppress the bubbles i feel like and so i thought you know maybe with this recipe i'm gonna add some more coconut oil some more castor oil and reduce some of the others and yeah so now let's just blend away and get going i mean soap making is so easy but so hard and tedious at the same time you know it's tedious because the preparation is just like a chore <laughs> But once you're done with everything, it really is just about blending and that's it. And, you know, obviously if you're doing the artisan soaps, that's a different ball game. That's a different story entirely. But with this type of simple soaps, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So this is sort of something that I feel a beginner can do. However, some people will say it's more of an advanced technique since there's a kind of, there's a form of sugar or milk in it. So yeah, anyways, I find that when I make milk soaps, or in this case, yogurt soap, it's kind of use, easier to use these coloring molds because, you know, the soap overheats or the soap heats up more than usual. And so these kind of help it to stay creamy. And here it is, you can see the next day, it's, um, by the way, I think this was more than the next, this was about two days later. I waited for a long time before I molded. So this wasn't the next day, this was two days later, but it was still kind of soft. And you would see that from when I unmold, you can see there, it kind of had that sticky icky thing. So it definitely was a little too soft. And I thought maybe I should just leave it for a bit longer. So I left it for a few more hours, but I was impatient as any sofa knows, you cannot wait for long. This thing is like, <laughs> it's so addictive. You just want to get to it. So I came back to it and I just thought, you know, I'm just going to use this technique to unmold. And so here I did this one, the same way I did the first one to just see if it was probably harder, but no, it's still the same. And so I decided to, you know, do a kind of twist with the next one. I'm going to show you the next one now. I decided to do a twist. Anyways, what I was saying earlier is that when you use curling molds for like milk soaps, they come out creamier. And you see this soap had honey and yogurt and it's still very creamy. It's not even dark. You know, you'd expect that the honey would make it really like gel up and be darker in color. But this is not dark at all. This is really nice, really creamy, really yummy looking. <laughs> These soaps are always so tempting. And so right that's why i kind of would suggest this so anyway this recipe has no fragrance oil as well because it's made to be good for both face and body and see how i twisted it there that kind of made it come out smoother anyway so this soap is meant to be good for both face and body i really love milk soaps on my face there are people who argue that you know you shouldn't use soap on your face but i don't think that is the case because well maybe every skin is different or every skin type so they would argue the you know they'll talk about the ph and talk about how like soap has a higher ph than the skin and it will strip your skin of oils and da, da 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 i don't really buy that because i have had like problematic skin all my life and this my skin right now has never been better than when i used to use the store-bought soaps 
since I started using my own handmade soaps on my face, oh my goodness, man, I feel like a princess. Anyways, guys, there, yeah, this is the end of this video. And I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking with me and have a great day. Bye. Don't you guys just hate how I ended that so abruptly? That felt so rude. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>